Good morning, my friends. It's Miss Rachel from the William Jeans Library and George, also from the William Jeans Library. Welcome to Babes and Books Storytime. We're so glad you're out there and we're sorry that we're not together, but I trust that we will be soon. We're gonna start out by singing good morning to all of our friends out there. Hello, our friends. Hello, our friends. Hello, our friends. We're glad you're there today. Hello, our friends. Hello, our friends. Hello, our friends. We're glad you're there today. Hello, my friends. Hello, my friends. Hello, my friends. I'm glad I'm here today. And I'm glad you're all out there watching. I can't wait to be with you. For now, it's me and George, and we're going to have online story time with you today. You ready, George? George is ready. For this song, you're going to need to find your eyes, your nose, your sweet cheeks, and your chin. If you're a bigger kid, you can do this yourself. If you are a parent with a baby in your lap, like I have George here, you can guide them along as they learn all these different beautiful parts of their face. Eyes and nose and cheeky cheeky chin. 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 Let's do it a little faster. Eyes and nose and cheeky cheeky chin. 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 Now we'll do it slowly. Eyes and nose and cheeky cheeky chin. Eyes and nose and Cheeky, cheeky, chin. Eyes and nose and cheeky, cheeky, chin. Eyes and nose and cheeky, cheeky, chin. Beautiful faces you have. Beautiful, beautiful faces. All right, we are going to do things in a little bit of a different order because when I save the shaker song to its normal place in story time, my Bluetooth speaker turns off, it times out, and my computer goes into screensaver mode. And then I have to put my password in, and then it just messes up the flow when I'm ready to shake. So we're gonna shake right away. So don't worry if you don't have a shaker at home, you can make something, dried beans in a water bottle, or, Quinoa in a feta cheese tub makes a softer kind of a sound. My current favorite, rice in little mini water bottles. All right, let's get ready to shake. Shake it, shake it, everybody. Shake, shake, shake. We're gonna start over. Come on. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Come on and shake it with me. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Come on, shake it with me. Come on, shake it up. Come on, shake it down. Come on, shake it all around. Shake it anywhere you want. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody, shake it. Come on and shake it with me. Shake it, shake it on your toes. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your toes. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your toes. Come on, 
wants to keep shaking it but we are going to put our shakers away for now because it's time to read a book George is going to listen from over here and I found a beautiful book to read for you today it is called fabulous fishes it is written and illustrated by Susan Stockdale and I'm going to read it today with the permission of the publisher peach tree Wait until you see these fish, my friends. I need to come closer so you can really enjoy these beautiful illustrations. Round fish. Clown fish. Fish that like to hide. Can you see the fish? Where's the fish on that page? Striped fish, spiked fish, fish that leap and glide, sand fish, land fish. Fish that flash their lights. Speckled fish. Spotted fish. Fish with tails curled tight. Shiny fish, spiny fish, fish that hitch a ride, flat fish, cat fish. Fish that ride the tide. Fish that swim in numbers. Fish that swim alone. No matter what they look like, they call the water home where they all live. 
we don't live in the water. Sometimes we take a bath in the water or we swim in the water. She's enjoying going down snorkeling and visiting with the fish under the water. I wonder if you have ever seen living fish. They are amazing to watch. Thank you for sharing that book with me, my friends. George is gonna come back over. And before we get out our scarves, we're gonna take a little ride. Are you ready? No, you can't see my lap, but if your baby is on your lap, you're gonna take them for a ride. If you are a kid that's walking around, you can ride around the room while we do this one. Ride, baby, ride. Ride that horsey, ride. Ride, baby, ride. Ride that horsey, ride. Ride, baby, ride. Ride that horsey, soft. Ride, baby, ride. Ride that horsey, soft. Ride, baby, ride. Ride that horsey, rough. 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 Whoa! Slow down, George. Ride, baby, ride. Ride that horsey, slow. Ride, baby, ride. Ride that horsey slow. Ride, baby, ride. Ride that horsey fast. 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 Whoa! Ride, baby, ride. Ride that horsey, ride. Ride, baby, ride. Ride that horsey, ride. Good job, George. Early literacy tip for today is, um, you might have heard me talk about the five building blocks of literacy. Read, sing, talk, write, and play. And play, you might wonder how that's building literacy. Um, one of the things is representation. Um, your child certainly knows that when you're bouncing them on their lap, they're not actually riding a horse. So when you're playing and doing things like that, you're teaching them that something can represent something else. Your lap and bouncing is representing a horse ride. It sounds abstract, but it's, it's a concept that they are developing even as babies and toddlers, and it helps them build the foundation for understanding that print on a page represents something real. Um, so playing, riding on your lap is the beginning of reading, believe it or not. All right, George is gonna sit over there a minute and we're going to get out our scarves. If you don't have a story time scarf at home, that is fine. You can use a tissue, a clean one, please. Or a cloth napkin, that will do. Or a scarf, like one that you wear. I'm so lucky I have a story time scarf at home with me, so I am going to use a story time scarf. And we're gonna make popcorn. This is another example of that representation. This is obviously not popcorn, and we're gonna pretend that it is. The scarf is gonna represent popcorn. It's a basic 
beginning reading skill representation. All right, enough of the academic stuff. Let's play. Pop, 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 put the corn in the pot. Shake, shake, shake it. Shake it till it's hot. Open the lid and what have you got? Now George is going to come over and help. You ready, George? Let's make some popcorn. Pop, 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 put the corn in the pot. Shake, shake, shake it. Shake it till it's hot. Open the lid and what have you got? Do one more big bowl of popcorn. Pop, 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 put the corn in the pot. Shake, shake, shake it. Shake it till it's hot. Open the lid and what have you got? time to say goodbye and I'm going to say goodbye with bubbles like I always do if you have bubbles at home you can blow some bubbles with me or you can blow some outside later if you don't have bubbles that's okay see if you can find and point to and touch the bubbles that you see on your screen there are bubbles in the air, in the air. There are bubbles in the air, in the air. There are bubbles in the air. There are bubbles everywhere. There are bubbles in the air, everywhere. There are bubbles way up high, way up high. It's going to take a while for them to come down. There are bubbles way up high, way up high. There are bubbles way up high. There are bubbles in the sky. There are bubbles way up high in the sky. There are bubbles way down low, way down low. There are bubbles way down low, way down low. There are bubbles way down low, and they tickle on your toes. There are bubbles way down low on your toes and the bubbles say goodbye, say goodbye and the bubbles say goodbye, here they come, say goodbye and the bubbles say goodbye. Say goodbye until next time. And the bubble say goodbye. Till next time. Bye bye bubbles. And goodbye to you out there, my most wonderful friends. I can't wait to see you again, hopefully very soon. But until then, have a wonderful day and enjoy this spring weather that is starting to come. I'll see you before too long. Bye-bye, friends.